Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we start the troubleshooting scenarios and specifically in this one we'll talk about the pre-shared key mismatch. Now first of all you should know that um, the debugs are not self-explanatory for most of the vendors so it's not like uh, you will find in the log or in the diagnose uh, as you will see here in uh, in 48 firewall that I don't know pre-shared key uh, mismatch or uh, I don't know uh, let's say encryption is not the same on both uh, on both um, equipments configured to say so so it is absolutely critical that you know exactly how the debug looks when the configuration is functional so that in case the debug is not self-explanatory you can just uh, find quickly that something is uh, missing or maybe something is not behaving like uh, you know it should when uh, when the when the network is functioning correctly so in this uh, in this scenario uh, because we have two tunnels configured on the hq40 gate we will misconfigure or break the configuration between the asa and the hq40 gate and this way we will see how the debug looks but at the same time because we have a vpn um, a vpn tunnel between the two 40 gate firewalls we will also see how the um, how the debug should look when things do work uh, correctly so what we'll do now let's go on vpcs1 so at this moment the the tunnel is working i'm now pinging from from the hq from the um, uh, from the test pc on the hq side i'm pinging the sa and i will start also a ping let's say from from the branch one so from the uh, 48 firewall branch towards let's say towards 1.100 minus c and a lot of packets so that we see uh, exactly how how they behave and how the how the debugs uh, how the debugs look so at this moment both of the both of the tunnels are up and we can see this by going in the user interface the graphical user interface i will now i will now log in so later later and I will look in the VPN, in the IPsec tunnels, as you can see the status for both of them, it's up. Now because in this scenario we want to test the pre-shared key mismatch, I will have now to break the configuration for branch 2. And I will say edit. And let's go to authentication, pre-shared key. And instead of Fortinet, I will do something like this. So let's say that um there is a typo there and uh, you just typed uh, uh, fast and you didn't see it anyway so now we have to troubleshoot the error i will say okay now going to the monitor and going to ipsec monitor i'm seeing that the first tunnel to the 40 gate in branch one it's up and for for branch two for cisco asa we have the tunnel down so let's check also vpcs1 so now i'm trying to ping uh, the asa i see that the ping is not successful and for the second one i see that the ping is successful so let me just arrange the two a little bit like this okay and now let's go in the asa uh sorry in the uh, in the hq so in the hq 40 gate and I will start some debugging. So the debugging is, in this case, diagnose. So let's say this one is not important. You can just filter the debugs so that you, you outline only the, the tunnel that you want. But I don't want any filter. I want to see everything that's happening there, the, happening there in, uh, uh, in terms of the Ike process. So what's the first command? I will just start the debugging for uh, IC application. I will just enable then the, the diagnosing debug and I will restart the whole IC process so that I can see the negotiation from the beginning to, to the end or at least from the beginning till the, the moment it breaks. Now after you start the debug you will see that more and more messages will come so you will not uh, you'll be you'll not be able to to read or to analyze the logs so it be it's better to stop the the debugging 
and you can say this with you can do this with diagnose debug reset and diagnose debug uh, disable so now that we have the commands prepared let's go on and put them here in the CLI of the 40 gate uh, the HQ 40 gate so I'll leave some space here and I'll now just run the commands so a lot of commands a lot of commands now I will stop it so that I can copy all of the debug that resulted here and analyze it in a notepad it is a good idea because you can see it uh, you can see it better um, you can be sure that nothing will change and no logs will appear although we have um, uh, we have stopped it anyway let's analyze it here and we'll uh, copy paste it there just for reference and um, so let's start from the beginning so from here and let's see now so <clears throat> you can see here that you have branch 1 and branch 2 so branch 1 refers to the, the tunnel that is working going to the other 40 gate and branch 2 is going to the Cisco SA. So let's go now through the logs and see the differences between the two. Remember I have changed the pre-shared key on the, on the tunnel going to the Cisco SA. So now we're looking here at the, at the debugs for branch 1. So this one is working. Let's see uh, what's the information presented. So negotiation result, proposal ID number 1. Protocol ID Isaacam, so we have DES and MD5. Let's see what's next. Pre-shared key, lifetime. Let's continue to, to look for the logs. And let's say branch one, branch one, branch one. Here it is. So this is something that you will not see for branch two. So peer identifier, this is the IP address configured again. Let's take a look, 909090. 90, 90. So configure on the branch 40 gate. Let's come back to the HQ 40 gate. And you see here, so peer identifier is this. PSK, uh, so pre-shared key, authentication succeeded and authentication is okay. So after, after, um, after uh, establishing the SA, we see that there's been a negotiation and here is the result. We have been prevented uh, we have been presented this here so uh, negotiation result proposal id is this then you see that the authentication has succeeded so authentication succeeded and authentication is okay established ike sa so security association with this uh, with this id now we move on to branch two let's see what's the message for branch two so branch two so negotiation result proposal is this Isaac camp is this nothing changed until this until this step so let's see what happens now so coming from uh, coming from this IP this is the SA on UDP port 500 coming to my IP and port is the same 500 this is the the classic negotiation let's see next what's happening let's go more and this is it so on branch 2 tunnel negotiation immediately after saying that okay this is the proposal i'm using it says ignoring unencrypted payload malform message from and this is the saip so basically this is the message that that highlights uh the the pre-shared key authentication mismatch and if we continue to look we will see that there's been some retransmission again for branch two. So it's trying again and again and again to renegotiate. And let's see that it's going to happen again. So sending IG message, retransmit between us and the SA. Again, retransmission, resend last message. Let's continue, retransmit and that's it so again for any pre-shared key authentication mismatch between the the 40 gate and uh, and the other peer you would see a message 
again I will look for it to, to highlight to highlight the message and is this so ignoring unencrypted payload malform message from this and I will now paste it here just that we have it uh, for our reference for pressure key mismatch so mismatch this is uh, what we have seen so this is it so again now let's uh, let's fix it so let's have it working now again admin and later and later we will go to VPN and IPsec tunnels for branch 2 edit and for the authentication I will now type it correctly so it's Fortinet I will say this and this and now we should see that the VPN should come up so let's see if this happens or not so 3.100 yes this is it and we should see the IPsec tunnel in the upstate and here it is now if I go again on the HQ48 just to have it uh, to see it working here as well I'll now start again the, the diagnosing debug and here it is and now I will stop it so let's look now for branch 2 and see uh, the same that authentication has succeeded so again because the debugs are not self-explanatory we should uh, get used to what's the uh, or what's the debug or how should the debug look like when things work so that when they do not work correctly we can uh, easily spot uh, the difference and uh, pinpoint the exact problem so let's see for uh, branch 2 for branch 2 here it is so for branch 2 we have peer identifier this is the IP of the ASA pre-shared key authentication succeeded and authentication it's okay this is the, the log saying that okay the Ike SA the Ike security association has been established and this is the uh, this is the ID so this is all for this lecture Th thanks a lot and see you in the upcoming lecture where we study the the next debug and specifically we are going to break this time the phase one so we will modify other uh, other SHA-1, so encryption or authentication and we'll see how the debug looks again. Thanks a lot.